you want me to tell you the, the, the key things that you start off working on, they go out the window in the preceding drills because they start focusing on what's in front of them. Do you ever just bring it back to the students that focus again on these things? Yeah. To be honest, we wouldn't normally move through quite that quick. So it's as much for you coaches to see a bit of progression as to where we're trying to get to. Uh, but it may take a lot longer to get there than that. So if, you, if we can't do catch pass under pressure, yeah, all the decision making is going to be really tough, isn't it? So there's a lot of things that are about rehearsal. So what we could do is increase the distance. So there's more time to make decisions and, and so on. And you uh, hamstring the defence a little bit to make things a little bit easier and, and build that up. Uh, what we wanted to do today was put you guys under a little bit of pressure to the players just to find out um, you know, how you can operate under a little bit of stress and give us an idea of skill sets and so on. So they're absolutely right. You would, uh, yeah, we, we might have had a session there where we only got through the first couple of activities and we might have just kept drilling body shape and drill pass until we really got that going before we went into the other stuff. Do you, um, so, so these kinds of drills, right, are these are the same sorts of things that you're doing with, with the Chiefs? Um, so it's coming through you know, from all the age grade levels upwards. Um, obviously, you don't just necessarily spend as much time at the higher level, but you go revisit them even at those levels? I reckon um, you'd be really surprised. I'm sure Jamie feels the same way, but if you came to a super rugby session, you'd be surprised how basic some of them are. Not in regard to the thinking behind it, or, um, but it's more around uh, making sure that we really nail the basics. So I think a lot of people see some bells and whistles on TV and think, shit, that's bloody good. But they don't really appreciate the amount of work that's gone to get there. So, you know, we're going to talk a lot about clean out stuff tomorrow. James going to touch on it a bit from a defensive point of view now. But the amount of detail that goes into getting all that part right. So I know from a Chiefs point of view, we do a hell of a lot of catch pass. So we would start, um, when we get the boys back in November, in November, we'll do some distribution on their knees. What do you reckon that would be? Sorry? Yeah, so um, I'm on short ball stuff, guys. The reason we've got to keep you square, staying here. When you start throwing some long ball stuff, well, what do you tend to see? People stand up, so there's more rotation. So they hook the ball back behind. What about their feet? What do you reckon about their feet? Okay, I'll tell you. So, um, so sometimes. Well, rugby league's a pretty big game in our country in Australia. A lot of guys will pass like that, so I'll throw a leg out this way, toe facing there, and pass like that. So all their vision's going that way. Or uh, Bowden Barrett, who's, who's an all black, one of the all black tens, takes the ball and throws his foot across here to generate all his power and his pass. Where's his vision? So when he passes like that, where's he looking? Um, he's looking at the touch judge. Okay, so we don't get to see what's happening here. So. By doing some long ball distribution on their knees, all they can use is their core. So we'll, we make them start in here, on here, and they're going to punch a pass, they're going to punch it out there, but it's generating a, a twist in here. That helps us keep squarer. So when we're throwing those passes, we're in a position that people are pushing off, we get to run. If we're looking this way when we're throwing passes, you don't see it. So that's about as basic as you get in distribution. So we'll go through it reasonably quickly, but we'll go right back, strip things back to the bone whether it's catch pass, or whether it's decision making, or whether it's contact area. You'd be surprised how much repetition on basic stuff is done. What's the speed like when you're, when you're running these drills? I mean, are these people running full speed, or are they really working on the fundamentals of making the pass, rather than I mean, running as hard as they can, I mean, with no form at all? That's kind of what I say. Yeah, um, Again, the ideal scenario is we'd do some handling stuff to warm up, a bit like we did tonight today. Um, I think some of you guys are pretty keen, so we're sprinting from the word go. It's nice and warm here in New Zealand. You, know, you pull a couple of hammies by the stop, um, sort of pace you guys are going at early on. But ideally what we're trying to do is get perfect form in regard to taking early and out of the hands. You, you don't need to be going really fast with your feet. Often slowing down your feet is a better thing. You can still look like you're going reasonably quickly, but being able to pull the fence towards you at times by slowing your feet up to put someone in space is a good option. So just sprinting all the time, it's a little change to the pace. You know, 
You might want to accelerate at him to pull him in to draw him past, or it could be that you're going to use a little goosey or use a bit of a swerve or a step or whatever. But you now it's all variable to time and space and numbers and communication around you. So it's not about just sprinting all the time, it's, it's about, I guess, that now sort of game situation, who you're trying to put a space around you.